Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you from Reading Town. Let's take a look at today's interesting article. So if you look at this picture, it's something that you and I all have and it's very special, different on all of us. So the title of today's article is Fingerprint. So we see two different words put together. We know what fingers are and print is something that you leave behind, right? So here we're going to learn today about our fingerprints and it says, Ever wonder what those lines and ridges on the tips of your fingers are? So we know what fingers are and the tips are at the edge, right? So here, those lines and ridges. Ridges are those lines that has different edges so you can feel it. Those are ridges, right? So if you feel the tip, the end of your finger or look at it, you can see different lines and you can feel it so that it has ridges. It has those rough edges, right? So did you ever wonder what those are? They are called fingerprints and they form while you are still inside your mother's tummy, right? So when you're a baby, infant inside of your mother's stomach, that's when we start getting our own types of fingerprints, okay? Fingerprints are unique to every person. So unique means very special, right? It's different and special to every person. Nobody else in this world has the fingerprint you have. So your fingerprints are different from everyone else in this world. Everyone has different designs or different prints or sets of fingerprints. Even twins have different fingerprints. So people who are born brothers and sisters or brothers and brothers or sisters and sisters, we see that even though they look the same, right? Even though they are twins, their fingerprints are different. Very interesting. Fingerprints are durable. Durable means it lasts long, right? It doesn't fade away. It doesn't uh, disappear, right? It lasts for a long time. It's very strong and sturdy. So if your fingers get a tiny wound or scratch, the skin will grow back with the same fingerprint. So if you hurt your finger, if you burn it on accident or if you have a cut, after it heals, the skin will grow back with the same design, right, as you had before. So very interesting. So they use fingerprints a lot to recognize people or to know who it is. So fingerprints are very unique or special to every person, right? So if you look at your fingerprints as well as your brother or sisters or your parents, right? They're all different. Very interesting. Let's take a look at our comprehension questions for today. So after reading our article, let's see how much we remember. So it says nobody else in the blank has the fingerprint you have. So nobody else in the school, where do we say? Anywhere in this entire world. So here, anywhere, no one else, nobody else in the world has the fingerprint you have. Not even your twin, not even your parents or your brothers or sisters. Uh, B says, fingerprints form while you are still blank in your mother's tummy. So when do fingerprints start to happen? Once you're a baby born, right? No, it happens when you're still, that's right, inside your mother's tummy. So even when you're a tiny, tiny, tiny baby, Right? That's when the fingerprint starts to form. Uh, let's look at the, the, the third question. It says, even blank have different fingerprints. We talked about this, right? Even though you look the same, even though you're part of the same family, right? Your fingerprints are still different. So who has different fingerprints? Even twins have different fingerprints. Okay? So just because you look the same or part of the same family, doesn't matter. Your fingerprints are all unique or different for each person. So it says here, the final part, let's choose the right word to complete our sentence. It says fingerprints are funny, heavy, or durable. We didn't say anything about fingerprints being heavy, so that's not it. We didn't say anything about uh, it being funny. Well, some people may think that it looks kind of funny, but that wasn't in our article. So we said that it lasts very long, right? Even if you get a scratch, right, it still is able to form again. So here, the correct word is durable, right? It doesn't break easily, it doesn't rip easily, right? It lasts for a long time, durable. And the second part, it says fingerprints are unique to every, every school, every candy, every person. Well, we know candy doesn't have fingerprints, right? And schools, well, yes, that's true. People in the school all have different uh, fingerprints, uh, but it's unique to who? Who is it special to? Right? It's unique to every person, you and I. And the last question, if your fingerprints or if your fingers get a tiny wound, right? Wound means like a scratch or you hurt yourself, like burning or something, the skin will grow back with the same what? With the same size, shape, with the same fingerprint. 
And one of the key ideas, the main ideas was, it's very durable, so it will come back, it will grow back with the same fingerprint. Well, from today's article, we realized that at the tips of your fingers, we all have something very durable, something that lasts, and it's our fingerprints. So even if you have a twin, your family members, we all have different sets of fingerprints so that we know who we are. So fingerprints are used a lot by the police, used a lot by the government so that when we go in and out of a country, they're able to identify or know who we are right away. So fingerprints, very important, very durable, and very unique. So look at your fingerprints and see that this is something that no one in the world has but you. So very special. Very interesting article. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.